Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. My name is Matthew. Today I want to be covering further on the B-Link X2. So this is running the H3 processor, which is really interesting because the Orange Pi, which is an ARM development board, also runs it. So we can bring some stuff over from the Orange Pi developments over to this box. So recently a developer over in FreeTap, I've mentioned it in the description, has brought over OpenELEC, which is a fantastic operating system to run Kodi. It will outperform the Android system running Kodi on the actual box, and you should give it a go. So we're going to give you a, a tutorial on how to install it onto an SD card, and then booting it from the B-Link X2 box. So let's crack on and show you how to do it. It's dead easy. All you need is a PC, B-Link X2, and a micro SD card. Make sure it's something decent, like a SanDisk one, and you won't go wrong. The first thing we need to do, we need to go and get a few files. Now, there's a few places we can go and get these. We can go over to FreakTab and grab it direct from the developer, or you can get it from us. We've just put it on our file system just to preserve it, really, because sometimes um, they can just disappear, and that's the end of it. There's, you can go to the mxqproject.com forward slash files, and then just go to B-Link X2 Lacquer plus OpenELEC and in there you'll see the OpenELEC file. Now download that. Now what you're going to need to do as well, you need to unzip it. Because as you'll notice at the end it says image.gz. So you can use 7-zip for that and I'll leave a link in the description to use that unless you've maybe got one already on your computer. Um, you can go to actual free tab and get this file as well and you can go and say thanks on the thread as well sign up there just go to freetab.com and search for the B-Link X2 H3 OpenLEC file now you can google that as well and google brings it on the top search result if I go to google I'll give you an example um, I'll leave in the link in the description of course but B-Link X2 open Iraq. and as you can see it just comes up straight away on the top just there so if you were to download it from free tab load this up and then you'll see the image download just on there it's a mega.nz and if you go to mega mega and it just loads you up etc and you can download it from there and that's pretty self-explanatory i think so as well as that, these guys have got lots of information as well on how to use it and how to install the IR remote and stuff like that. I'll simply be covering how to install it to an SD card. So once you've got your file, whether you've got that from us, the MXQ project, or you've went direct and got it from them, um, you're going to need a small executable program called Win32 Disk. Now there is a few of us, but we like to use this just because it's simple and straightforward. So again, you can get that from us, from the same file directory, so mxqproject.com forward slash files. And at the bottom you'll just see Win32 Disk. And it's just a simple executable file. Um, and you can just install that onto your Windows PC straight away. If you're using Linux, again, there's a really simple um, burning tool built into Linux, so you can use that as well. But most the majority of users are obviously going to be using Windows. So install that. Get your file, make sure it's unzipped, load up Win32 Disk Imager, and then insert your SD card. Now, you're going to need a decent SD card, I'd recommend a SanDisk one, and just insert into your SD, into your SD card tray in your computer. If you've got a slow one, it's it will work, but it's, gonna be, it's not going to work very well. So make sure it's class 10 or something like that. Now, it's really simple to use Win32 Disk Imager, just select your device, so my SD card is on Drive H, select that, and then next to it, it just asks you where it's going to get this image file from, so the one that we unzipped before. So click on it, click open, and then click write, and then confirm it. And what's going to happen is it's going to burn the image to the SD card. It won't take very long. So now that it's nearly complete, we can move over to the TV where I'm going to show you how to actually boot it from the B-Link X2 box. So 
So once you've inserted the SD card into your B-Link X2, all you've got to do is plug in your power cable, attach it to your TV, you don't actually have to press the power button either. What you'll see is you'll see this open X screen appear. Now give it a couple of minutes and then what will happen is it will restart and then it should start coding. Just leave it alone and it should be fine. Now the guide on free tab actually says to leave it a couple of minutes and then plug the power and plug it back in. So I think it probably depends on the type of B-Link X2. We've got to remember there's lots of variations of the board. Um, our board is probably different to your board and we've got actually got a couple of B-Link X2s so we'll probably try out and see what happens. But in our experience we've just left it alone and eventually Cody has just booted up perfectly fine. And then you can proceed onwards and just use Cody however way you like. If you've never used opening up before, then you're going to love this experience. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.